Given the number of movies the Hindi film industry churns out in a year, it is impossible for good films to outnumber the bad ones. However, 2018 turned out to be an exceptional year for Bollywood. Yes, like every year, we made some awful, awful films along with some really good ones. From a film that brazenly embraced a sympathetic narrative while telling the story of a convicted criminal to an action movie that legitimized a piece of fake news. Below is a list of films, some of which were woefully irresponsible in their messaging while some were just plain tortures to sit through. Despite having access to all the resources required to help a reasonably good film, I am not picking movies like Namaste, Love Ya 3 and Race 3 because the director and actors themselves were aware that they are not creating any kind of masterpieces. So this list will cover movies with high budget or any kind of hype. So here is a list of absolutely bad, illogical Bollywood films of 2018. Number 5. Bagi 2 As a wave of hyper nationalism engulfs India, Bollywood isn't far behind in chasing on the problematic populist sentiment. However, what Ahmad Khan did with Bagi 2 was far more dangerous. It legitimized a piece of fake news in its opening scene. Although there are several issues that make Bagi 2 a film that shouldn't have been made, the opening scene showed Tiger Shroff's army man character tying up a stone pelter on the front of his jeep and using him as a human shield to get through a lane of stone pelters. I believe commercial directors should stay away from sensitive topics like this. Tiger Shroff is a hardworking actor, but I believe now he should be paying more attention to the type of script he is choosing. Just one genre, which is action, which this movie tries to fulfill, but that is also so illogical and badly written that you will think, why can't just somebody shoot Tiger Shroff's character, even after having machine guns and choppers? And yes, villain must have decided to make his den in forest not for safety reason, but for the scenic beauty of the film, as hero destroys it like anything. In simple words, Bagi 2 is an illogical bad action movie. Number 4. Veera the Wedding The film is set in Delhi and the actors characters are filthy rich. So basically, they are meant to be South Delhi girls. Even the ones who are supposed to be relatively poor are not poor. There are farmhouses, villas and vacation trips to exotic foreign locations. So far, so predictable. But what is perhaps the most disappointing thing about this star-studded film is that it has no redeeming factors to speak of. As I say, none. Both Bhaskar and Talsania shine in couple of moments, but they are so few and far in between that it really cannot save the film. In order to resonate with this movie, you have to first of all be free from any kind of livelihood bills or money problem because that is not an issue according to this movie. Veera the Wedding has no performances to talk of, a narrative that never falters because to falter, you will have to take that first step which it never does. And to top it all, it barely has a single fun moment to write off. In fact, Veera the Wedding is a film that you cannot even poke fun at. It tries too hard to be a good girl gang movie but fails because the story is unrelatable, an immensely forgettable affair. This movie is very much a two hour long commercial of all the sponsoring brands. Number 3. Zero. Before saying anything about this movie, I would like to say that I respect the VFX and hard work gone into creating the special effect and bringing a vision onto the big screen so beautifully. But if I talk about the movie, I was left with many questions like from where Babua Singh was getting money to spend, how he was getting easy access to all the events and parties, when did he get the American visa, when did that tourist visa convert it to a work visa, where his friend was living in America while he was getting trained for the Mars mission, what director was trying to prove, and why Babu was shown as a dwarf. The movie does not justify his character, so I don't know why they were written like the way they are. Zero is a beautiful mess. For example, if you're planning to make pasta and decide to use Indian masala in it, that is what I felt Zero is. In a way, the whole hard work on VFX is wasted because of the illogical writing. My other problem was with the anatomy of a dwarf, because when you see vertically challenged people, they have short legs and hands, which make their life challenging. But Papua Singh is a miniature form of Shah Rukh Khan. 
he only looks short when he is standing beside an average height person. So as per this logic, we all are short if we are standing beside the great Khali. Number 2. Thugs of Hindustan Everything that could possibly go wrong with a film went wrong with Thugs of Hindustan. A monstrosity of a movie that defies any logic or explanation for its existence. YRS bankrolled his ambitious pirate drama that was powered by top stars like Amir Khan, Amitabh Bachchan and Katrina Kaif. It would have been commendable if the amount of investment the makers made in every character's eye makeup was instead channeled towards the writing room so they could come up with something like, you know, a credible plot, generic action sequences, out of place humor, unimpressive performances. Thugs was so poorly directed, after a point, it felt like a parody of itself. Between Tushan Dhoom 3 and Thugs, Vijay Krishna Acharya now has the rare distinction of directing some of the worst Hindi films of the 21st century. His latest film is so awful, two actors from the cast actually apologized for it. Number 1. Sanju Before saying anything about this movie, I want to say that Ranveer Kapoor has done good acting and I appreciate his hard work. Now talking about this movie, it is not a biopic, not even close. As a cultural moment, when men in power are being held accountable and are losing face for their past misleads, Rajkumar Hirani's Sanjay Dutt biopic revealed how tone deaf and prone to advantages Bollywood remains as an industry. Not only did Sanju, a big time irresponsible film, recharacterize the events of Dutt's life to make him appear as a victim of unfortunate circumstances, blaming everybody but himself for his own actions. It also minimized the trauma of women he wronged by depicting his moral transgressions comedically. Hirani also misled the audience by depicting Dutt's character with a sympathetic gaze, instead of explaining his follies with a critical one, as if that wasn't representable enough. Sanju also brazenly attacked the media as the one responsible for the actor's real-life downfall. Scenes portraying Dutt's womanizing blatant disrespect to Ruby's parents and even drug abuse, use a comical, annoying trumpet background score often associated with slapstick comedy to lighten otherwise dark moments. In my opinion, Rajkumar Hirani just branded Sanjay Dutt for his upcoming Munna Bhai movie and honestly, I don't think any needs so-called biopics to be made on Outlaws. So that was the list guys. Let me know what is your opinion about these movies. Thank you for watching and if you like this work, probably you will like my other works. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you guys in the next list. Till then, have a good one.